What's up guys? Welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and this is part two of the black walnut and marble side table build. All right guys, if you remember we had the the mold set up and the two pieces of black walnut in the mold ready to go. Um, we're gonna take some we're gonna take some turtle wax, automotive wax, and we're gonna wipe down the inside of the mold really quickly before we start pouring. All right guys, for this pour, we're gonna be using our Goodview Woodworks metallic powder P1010, which is pearl. Um, we actually have it here in, in the 90 gram container. We're only gonna need just a little bit. This one would work perfectly fine for this project. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm only gonna mix just a little bit of epoxy, and we're gonna pour it into the mold and um, start there. That way we kind of ensure that there's not gonna be any leaks. We're gonna let that set up before we make our next pour. We're just gonna pour a thin layer just to check all of our leaks. And this is a good way to ensure that you're not wasting epoxy. So just, you can do just a thin pour, let it set up, then pour the rest. That way you're not wasting epoxy. As far as the epoxy goes, we're gonna use the pourable plastic uh, clear casting resin and this is from Incredible Solutions. If you guys have uh, watched my channel before you know that we've used Incredible Solutions countertop epoxy before and they finally just released a casting epoxy. And if you want to get this epoxy and check out the pearls you can go to my website at goodviewwoodworks.com and the epoxy will be in the recommended products section and the pigments will be in my store. So you go, guys can go there and check it out. The mix ratio is two parts resin to one part hardener, and it allows you to pour up to two inches at a single, in a single pour. So really cool stuff. All right guys, as always, we're gonna start with our hardener first. So I'm gonna mix in two ounces of the hardener. And then we are going to put in four ounces of the epoxy, which will give us a total of six ounces. And that'll be good for our first pour. If you guys see the epoxy, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks kind of stringy, like there's two different colors being mixed. The goal is to mix until it's one consistent color, which is about three minutes. Make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom while you're mixing. All right guys, we're gonna use just a touch of epoxy Just a little bit. We're gonna mix this in and then we'll pour our first layer. Check it out, this, this color is really cool though. The trick is to mix until we get all the clumps out of it.
All right, guys, I don't know if you can see because of the light, but it's just a thin layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to be sealing this edge right here so that once it gets there, it starts to set up. More epoxy won't run underneath the wood. We're going to take our heat gun. We're going to take our heat gun and we're going to get all the air bubbles out and try to get this epoxy moved around in, in there and get it nice and set. All right, here we go. What we're doing is we're sealing this edge right here. So if we pour a whole bunch, it won't be leaking out the backside. All right guys, we're gonna let this set up and we'll be right back with you. All right, so we're back, and now that we have our first small pour that has set up and is tacky, as you can see, let's see if I can see it. Soft, it's leaving a fingerprint. Here, let's see if you can see it in the, in the light here. See? Soft and leave, leaving a fingerprint. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna mix up the rest and fill up these two spots with some pearl epoxy. All right guys, so we are done pouring the thickness here. We always wanna make sure that our form is level, both directions, this way and this way. Let's check it here. We're level. Remember to take your heat gun and get all the bubbles popped out of there. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this set up and cure and then we'll bust it out of the mold. I can't wait to see it, I'm super excited. All right guys, it's been about seven hours since I've poured this pour. And have you guys seen in the, my past videos where I had the epoxy swirled? Well, this point would be the best point to swirl. If you can see, it's more like, let's see if you guys can see this. real stringy if you sw at this point would be the perfect point to make the swirls we're not going to do swirls in this one because we want a marble look and that's the look that we have already but i want you guys to keep this in mind this consistency of the epoxy almost like a little like thick syrup if syrup is really cold and really thick that's the point that you want to swirl and the metallic powders will stay swirled 
when the epoxy cures. So that's what you want to look for. All right, guys. So now that our epoxy is fully cured, we can bust this thing out of the form. You ready? Here we go. All right guys, so you can see that I've got both of them removed from the mold. One of them removed perfectly, the other one did not. So what we'll have to do is I'll, we'll take our angle grinder with a flap disc or a metal sanding disc and remove that pretty quickly and easily. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the junk off the edges here and get them ready for the next step, which is making the marble effect. So check it out. Okay guys, so we have our piece scuff sanded to 220, and that's just the epoxy part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some painter's tape and we're gonna mask off the walnut. That way we're only working on the epoxy here. All right, so the next step is <clears throat> we're gonna take a little bit of our dolphin color. It's like a, a gunmetal gray. We're gonna use the dolphin pigment. We're gonna mix up, mix up some epoxy and we're gonna dab on some gray onto this white part here. We're also gonna use a little bit of our great white and that is mixed with 91% isopropyl alcohol into the squirt bottle and we're gonna squirt it to kinda of give some cool effect. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, we're gonna mix up just about an ounce of epoxy. I mean, two ounces of epoxy. <clears throat> it's mixed to a one-to-one -one ratio, so we'll use one part hardener and one part epoxy. I always put the hardener in first and then the epoxy because the epoxy is a little thicker We'll go ahead and mix this for a few minutes, three minutes, and we'll start adding our coloring. Now we're gonna take a little bit of our Dolphin P120, take just a touch of metallic powder. Put that in there, and we will continue mixing. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of our dolphin and going to spread it out here. And then we'll take a glove And we're just gonna spread it around. Let's get a little bit more.
Got a little bit of gray going on. Take a little bit of our white. Kind of spritz it on there. If you can see, we only have a I only have a little bit of a gray tone. That's all I'm looking for. Because I want some of that Carrera marble look. Alright. So you can kind of see it there. I think I want I think I want a little bit more gray. So we'll go ahead and lay out some more. Take our glove. Puts it around. Okay, and then we'll take just a little bit of our our white. And we'll do it again. All right. Now you guys can really see that effect. And we're gonna go ahead and use our heat gun. We're gonna heat it up, pop any bubbles. If you guys have any spots that you see that you have a little piece of dust or something, pick it out with your finger and you're good to go. All right guys, take a look at that. Look how pretty that is. Super pretty. All right guys, while your epoxy is still wet, you want to take your tape off so that it doesn't get stuck in your project. Look at how pretty those two colors are together. Super pretty. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to go over to goodviewwoodworks.com to get yourself some pigments, like that we use the dolphin and we use the great white. Um, I will link everything down in the description so you guys can click it and go get it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also leave a comment down below. Let us know if you liked this video. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video where we will finish these things up, put some finish on them, and get them installed. Guys, thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for hanging out with us.